Put a smile on your face when you're moving from place to place. Welcome back to the morning show on Tobago Updates Television. I am Adana Kambi and we're just about 7.46 a.m. So if you're getting to work for eight and dropping the children off to school, you only have 14 minutes to get there. But remember, try to get there as safely as possible. Be safe on our nation's roads. All right, we continue conversations this morning in studio and we're speaking with Mr. David Thomas. He is candidate for deputy political leader in the TPP internal elections, which is upcoming on June 30th. Good morning and welcome. Good morning to you and good morning to Tobago. Good morning to the TPP family. That's right. And so we're preparing for internal elections that is taking place on the 30th of June. Nomination day was the 20th. And so uh, now you are contesting the position of deputy political leader. That's uh, correct. Yeah. Right. And so I want to know what is your motivation uh, for vying for this position? Well, in actual fact, um, I have been in the Tobago space contributing in significant ways in the past and I am not really satisfied that um, we are where we want to be. And when I looked at the positions being advertised, I, I carefully examined them and I thought that I should get in at a level where I can make significant contributions and make the kind of contributions that would come across as a support system for the entire team. And I thought that I'm um, getting at the deputy political level, I would be able to lend support to the upper echelons of the party, as well as give support to the, 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 those that hold the other offices and the other positions in the, in the party. All right. And what are your experiences and your skills? What kind of skill set are you bringing to this position? Uh, should you uh, be the, the successful candidate? Uh, for this internal elections, what kind of experience do you have in this field, and what kind of skill set will you be bringing to, as you say, to support um, the, the the party to achieve the objectives? Well, I've been in this public space for quite a number of years, right? My background speaks to being the assistant chief fire officer in the Tobago division, where I managed this entire division and had the responsibility to ensure that Tobago remained safe. Tobago, you know, was was the benefiting from the best level of civil defense. I became um, actively involved in politics way back in the, the early 2000s under the people, people like Margaret Jack, um, Morgan Job, Basil Opandi. I actually worked with these people. And um, I, I still believe today that um, we had real politicians that time, people who understood what politics was all about, people who understood that politics was primarily about people, and people who understood giving to people what they truly deserve in terms of their, their livelihoods, in terms of the standard of living, in terms of bringing value to living in, in, in the Tobago or the Trinidad and Tobago space. I think over the years we have fallen away and given my early training and given my conviction, I believe that I am outfitted with the requisite skills, having been extensively trained all over the world, right, and having risen to the, to the level of assistant chief, I was aware it, it um, brought out your administrative skills, it brought out your people skills, it brought out your managerial skills. And I think that based on my skill set and training, I can contribute significantly not just to the growth of the party, but to the lives of the citizenry of Tobago. Right. And, you know, you mentioned that back in the day, politics was about um, seeing about the people. And, yeah. and you, you're saying that you feel as if we've moved away from that. So you yes. see that as a challenge. And you believe that you have what it takes to bring the politics back to that position. Or are you saying that we've, we've moved away from caring for the people yes. and we need to come back to that space? And you believe you have the skills to do that? Yes, definitely. If you follow my legacy, as a fire officer, all of Tobago would understand or would be able to see in a very emphatic way that I did contribute to the lives of Tobagonians. I did cause a lot of different things to happen in the Tobago space as, as a senior fire officer. And I think that um, based on all that was achieved in the past, I can still contribute a whole lot to the development of Tobago. And I'm looking forward to making sure that my contributions, you know, remain 
you know, focused and it remains constant in terms of Tobago's development. And what are some of the things that you will be able to bring to the table to contribute to this um, development and this progress that you speak of uh, based on your experience, your skills, your knowledge base, and um, even your own personal objectives in terms of seeing um, the, the party itself and also the politics in Tobago improving? What are, your, what are, what are going to be your contributing um, aspects of it? What are you bringing to the table? Well, I have no way of remaining silent. Eh? Mm. And I have no way of sitting on the fence. I have no way of allowing um, people to invade our space and, and cause us to, to be subjected to what they feel we deserve, right? I have um, a, a very strong conviction that Tobago is a peculiar space. And within the national context, I think that um, we are not being treated fairly. And I have no way of staying quiet about that. And I'm looking at it from all the levels, right? As I told you, I was in public, public life and I saw what um, ha happened in those days. And um, I think it's unfair. I think that um, Tobago deserves its rightful space. I think Tobago can be the best little island on the planet, given that we are treated fairly, given that we are represented well, given that we understand that we have an obligation to, to represent ourselves and ensure that whatever is meted out to us is, 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 is what we deserve and where our conviction lie and where our development would become significant as we, we pass on to the future generations. Uh, no, I want to give you this opportunity, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you're speaking to your TPP family. Yes. It's election day. Yes. And they're coming to the polls now to vote for their deputy uh, political leader of the TPP. Yes. What would you tell them to encourage them to cast that vote for you? TPP family, I have a huge legacy in Tobago. I have served Tobago with distinction. I continue to have that conviction. I will commit myself. I have no way of staying quiet when we are treated unfairly. And I'm coming to the table to deliver a different kind of, of politics, if you might say, to you. You expect us to deliver. You expect us to represent you in a very significant way. You expect us to be your voice. We expect, you expect us to create economic opportunities. You expect us to have a strategic plan, a strategic direction, which would redound to the benefit of Tobigonians. And you also expect us not to settle for less than the best. And I am coming to ensure that everything that is done is done with your interest at heart. And I look forward to your support. I look forward for you putting that trust in me and the rest of the team, the TPP team, to deliver at your doorsteps. I could remember there was one time in the history of this country when we are sure that the wealth of this country trickled down to the small man. It is still in my head. It is still what I believe. And it's still what I would always work hard to deliver to you as honest citizens and as citizens that deserve the best. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're speaking with uh, Mr. David Summers and TPP family. You've heard him here, the pitch um, for the position of P deputy political leader of the TPP come June 30th for the internal elections, putting himself forward for that position, um, ready to serve um, with experience, as he mentioned before. So that is his pitch. Come out and vote when you're voting. Consider him as he, you know, put himself forward there this morning. Thank you, Mr. Thomas, for speaking with us this morning and, of course, giving us your, your position as vying for the candidates, a candidate of the deputy political leader for TPP for the internal elections there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where we end the morning show on Tobago Updates Television. But we don't end our programming here. We head on over to Tobago Notes and then on to GMT. And we invite you to stay with us. And as you stay with us, of course, we ask you to help us share the live, share the live, share the live.